Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great, and normally I would say this is another banger of a UFC 4 video, but it's not. It's not a banger. This is an all-time classic Cub Swanson video. So we're going to be using Cub, obviously, in the UFC 4 featherweight division. And in the first matchup, we're going to be taking on a Division 20 Jose Aldo. Here we touch gloves, and we're back underway. Now here in this matchup, it could be a little bit troublesome. Uh, I found that whenever I do go Cub Swanson, a lot of people tend to choose Jose Aldo. Whether it be because they've actually seen this matchup happen in real life. And Aldo actually dominated this matchup. I believe it was in the WEC. Uh, he beat Cub within, I think, like a minute or something like that. So people maybe just try to maybe just try to replicate history. But we ain't going to let that thing happen. So we're switching to Southpaw because I've seen that he is throwing these leg kicks out. Uh, we're going to be willing to exchange with him at times in the pocket. But you don't see me pressuring too heavy forward uh, at the beginning of this round just because it's not it's not really what we're trying to get at we're trying to get a read for what this aldo is going to do and then try to exploit uh his weaknesses in his strategy so here we're popping out the jabs we switch back to orthodox we're going down to the body you see i'm just mixing a nice little body jab in just to kind of kind of keep him off balance not not just let him block up to the head we mixed in a good calf kick right there landed three piece but you see, I'm I'm playing very tactical at the at the start of this first round. We unleash a little six-piece combo right there. Hits us with a nice head kick, rocks us. But that's okay. We're still in the reading out process. We let our head health go back up. We're chopping at that calf now. Close the distance with a nice jab. And I'm getting a good read on his timing as we hit him with a good front kick right there. Do some nice solid damage. And here we're just trying to overload. His senses. We're trying to just with the even with that major lunge. We did major lunge out of a strike, but it's still a weapon that he has to be aware of us using. So there we're still going down to to the body with the nice jab body straight. Time out a beautiful front kick again, and that's how I use my front kicks, guys. I use my front kicks to try to disrupt timing. If I feel like you're going too heavy with jabs, I'm gonna pop that front kick out there, and then if you slip off, I'm gonna go go and sneak in a roundhouse kick to the head. So. We're setting that up nicely. Nice three-piece right there. Breaks the block down of us. Just taking our time. Closing the distance. Still going with some shots to the body. Nice body kick, but he did interrupt with a nice clean combination. Still just trying to take our time. We blocked the kick right there to the leg. Trying to work in some body shots. Nice two-piece right there. Broke our block. And the head health is a little bit lower, so we need to be careful and do a better job at finding advantageous spots for us to be able to exchange in the pocket. A nice deep kick right there by him to the body. We feign off the straight. He's slipping off. So he might be able to set up the head kick. But you guys see he switches to southpaw right there. Now this is a very telling sign that his legs are hurt. Because Aldo has a terrible switch stance in this game. So we go ahead and hit him with the block breaking combination right there. Hurt him. Get that rock back from earlier. Going down to the body, then back up to the head. Hit him with a good slip uppercut as the first round ends right there. Now, we faced a little bit of adversity in the in the first half of that first round, but we did come back and get that damage back. Now, we did make some good solid reads. Uh, we were able to land some nice clean front kicks, which means a roundhouse kick might be available for us up to the head if we can try to time that out right, as well as some nice clean shots to the body. So here he's ready to check the kick. So we need to be aware of our leg health if this round goes into the later rounds because we might be in a little bit of trouble when we time off another beautiful front kick right there again. Hurt him this time. Get that rock. We're not able to block break him right there. Chipping away at the block health right there. Stepping back out. Let the stamina rebuild back up. And we're just trying to take our time because with guys like Cub Swanson that don't have the best stats, uh, taking your time can be your best friend. And we're block breaking him right there with the clean combinations. We don't want to rush anything and get finished. So we catch him right there with a good front kick again right there. Hurt him for the second time early in the second round. We're stalking him. We're walking him down. Go with the double body hooks. Luckily, we didn't get caught with that uppercut. Nice slip straight right there by him. Alleviates some of the pressure. Makes us have to step back. Just taking our time. Go with the nice body kick. Another body kick. Now, we've landed two clean front kicks and got the rock, so we're going to try to go with the roundhouse. But we're trying to set it up perfectly so maybe we can get a good flash KO or potentially get that knockdown into the fight-ending scenario. 
So we blast through the block right there. Taking our time. Nice body kick right there by him. But you can tell that outfit's going slower. And there it was. There was that roundhouse kick that I told you guys we were looking to set up in that second round. And that's how you make reads. That's how you set traps for your opponent. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that I do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We are in the second fight, and we're going up against Raw Gator. And this guy's actually I Chance Benz. Uh, for those of you guys that play on PlayStation, this guy's known to cheese. I'm not going to cap. He's known to cheese. So, he has a Jiu-Jitsu Vanguard uh, created fighter, which means he's probably going to try to get me on the ground at some point. So, we're going to be trying to deny the takedowns as well as the clinch attempts whenever they do come out so you see our output is very low to start off the round but there's the takedown and he hit the toughest of the driving takedowns with the double leg into side control but we blocked that side saddle we're just trying to take our time try to go with the up transition but he did a good job of blocking it nice elbows to the head right there and he's going for sprawl which lets me know he's probably gonna go for that damn windshield choke but we're on the denial and we're able to take his back because of the high level jujitsu of cub swanson having him in a very bad spot and now we're gonna get in a submission of our own right here and this is the worst submission in the game to be in because it's the hardest to escape because of that punch those punches the throwing strikes animation right there it's gonna allow us to keep up on top of him even if he is doing a good job of defending so far we're doing a good job of keeping up we're gonna be able to get the sub on the cheeser bro and then we get the rage quit on top of it just a cherry on top you feel me just the cherry on top able to get that dub there and th that's why it doesn't pay to fight like that guys it doesn't pay to fight like that uh you got to be able to work and really try not to go for cheesy stuff on the ground because then when you fight guys like Cub Swanson that have those high level jujitsu sweeps, you're going to be put in a bad spot because somebody already knows what you're going to be doing on the ground. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the third and last fight that I do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We are going up against Koyaso. I think that's how you say his name. And ironically, it's another Jose Aldo that we're going up against. And like I said earlier in the first fight, Cub Swanson, if you use Cub Swanson, chances are you're going to run into a Jose Aldo. People just tend to go with Jose Aldo. I don't know why, but they really, really do. So here we're touching gloves, and we're back on the way. And he immediately starts off with a nice jab leg kick just to get us thinking about it. We go down to the body. So we're going to have the same strategy as the first fight against Aldo. We're just going to take our time, make reads, try to figure out what his game plan is and how he's going to approach this matchup. And then we'll try to try to push forward and, and build a game plan in the second round. So here we're just taking our time. Hit him with a good calf kick right there. Go to the body, then back up to the head. Just like we did in the first fight. We're missing on the front kicks. Just barely, but you see he's going with roundhouse kicks to the head as well. So we need to be aware of that if we're trying to slip the jabs off. So here we're just taking our time. Try to go with the jab to the body, but he interrupted it nicely right there. Nice little four-piece right there by us. Stopped him in his tracks. Now, the other tricky part that I forgot to mention in the first fight with Aldo is he has a lot of stopping power on his jabs because his jabs are very, very powerful in real life. So he has a high move level for his jabs. So if you eat a jab while you're entering in the pocket, it's going to stop you. You're not going to be able to load up a combination. So that's why you don't see me going jab for jab with him here. I'm trying to lead the dance as we catch him right there with a clean roundhouse kick to the head. I'm trying to lead the dance and speed up my jab timing. So here we catch him with a nice jab straight to the body. Nice body work right there by him. He's putting in the good work. So he knows this matchup. With him going down to the body, that lets me know that he does know Cub Swanson's weakness, which is his body health. It's only an 88. So that lets me know he does know where our weak point is for the fighter that we're using. Which is really high IQ stuff. Because not a lot of people know this matchup. So here he's walking us down just a little bit. We're trying to use a nice lateral movement. But we hit him with a good one too. That lets us exit off of the cage right there. Just still taking our time. Nice jab straight to the body by him right there. We cracked him with a good jab. Slipping off. So just still trying to take our time. And you see the strategy for this fight is going to be a lot different 
than the first guy that we fought just because he's playing it a lot better than the, my first opponent here we're just still trying to take our time we switch to southpaw but we're, we're doing a good job of fighting out of orthodox so i feel very comfortable with staying in this stance so here we're just still taking our time and we're trying to keep them on this back foot because we don't want those high those really good high damaging leg kicks of jose aldo to really come into play so here we're still trying to put a little bit of pressure on him just by walking forward catch him with a nicely timed front kick so that's going to let you guys know that I am getting that timing down. It's letting me know that I am as well. We missed right there, but it was on cue. He had to actually block that one. Nice combination right there by him. Dropped us right there at the end of the first round. But a pretty solid first round from us there. Uh, <laughs> except for the end, the last two seconds, we did get dropped. But I did find what I needed to find. I made the reads that I needed to make. Uh, we got the jab timing down. We started landing those front kicks there at the end of the round. So that's a good sign for us that we are at least starting to get in sync with his timing. So here we're cracking him with a good jab leg kick. He's starting to pressure forward because he did realize that we were landing the front kicks. So he's being a little more aggressive in this round. So we might be able to catch him with a stationary combination as he enters in the pocket. But we're not going to try to rely on that. Still just trying to take it slow, trying to make and build that game plan where we want it to be at. But he's doing a good job of pressuring us with that jab. He's still trying to slip off, so we need to be aware of that for a counter coming back. Chopping out that leg now. We're pressing forward just a little bit. So here in this scenario, you guys are going to run into these kind of fights very, very often. Guys are going to switch up their strategies. And you can either speed up and become more aggressive, or you can start looking for counters. So we're looking for counters, but he's doing a good job of just pressuring with that jab. And this is what I tend to do to a lot of my opponents as he drops us right there with a clean block-breaking combination. And now we're in a little bit of trouble, but we can't panic. We need to switch up the game plan and get aggressive to try to get a little bit more of that respect back. So here you see us pressuring with the jab now, pressing him back. Not over committing on combinations, still working that leg kick, but we catch him right there with a good front kick. Now we're going to look to Brock break just a little bit, and we get the combination, and he ducks into the lead uppercut, which gets us that nice, clean KO right there. That was a great fight. He actually had me on the ropes there at the end for a little bit. We were able to press forward, switch up the timing, get aggressive, and get the dub. That good lead uppercut got us a nice, clean KO. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. I do post UFC 4 content pretty much on this channel every other day. If you guys love UFC 4 content, then this is the channel for you guys. But make sure before you guys head out to slap that like button as well. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.